Um, is this 104? Yeah. More like 104. <laughs> Should be your mom's favorite episode then. Come on, man. Really? Gotcha. You're really gonna And then come it's out- gonna be 10 sly, like I'm gonna be sliding into your mom's DMs, and then it's gonna be 10 sex, and believe me, your madre loves that one, brother. It's gonna come <laughs> epic. Out, come Do you like my gate. new troll shirt, dude? Yeah, Ryan, it's real fucking epic. Awesome. Just coming out the gate, roasting me like that. I don't like it at all. Do you I don't like some, it one bit. Do you, do you want some nachos? I just melted some cheese. Uh, how do they smell, brother? Some, some, you're not holding anything up. Um, excuse me. You're supposed to yes and? <laughs> Unless you're not in the mood and you want to get the podcast going or you want to be taken seriously now as, a, as an entertainer. I only want to be taken seriously. That, that seems like that's the case. So let's go on with the, with the podcast. I, th- I believe you had some news for me, Matthew. Oh, I did have some news for you, actually. I watched 10 episodes of Family Guy yesterday. Congratulations. I'm glad that you wanted to be taken seriously. Did, does, that, does that statement sound like a statement that... Uh... Would, would that a normal as, human should should be saying? I don't feel like anyone should ever say that. I watched ten episodes of Family Guy yesterday. You should say I binged Family Guy yesterday. That would probably be the best one. I finished the first season of Family Guy, and now I'm on episode like six of the second season. Congratulations! You, the joke of Family Guy being bad is no longer a joke. It's really you're, pulling you're, me you're, in. You're legitimately watching it. It's, it's really not a joke. In, no. it's, you can't say that you're doing it ironically when you've, no, watched, it's really, when you've watched hours and hours and hours of Family Guy. It's not good, but it's really pulled me in somehow. Like, okay. Like, I, I, there's no... I can't say Family Guy is good, but it has somehow just pull, sucked me in. Okay. And now I've just been watching Family Guy. People it's, will defend the earlier seasons and be like, it's, that's some funny television. It has... It has I, I gotta give it props. It's got a lot of really funny gags here and there like there like there was a I think it has funny moments I don't think there's ever like a whole episode where I'm like damn that no. felt good there was one that I thought was like there, actually there's been two episodes so far one in a most recent season and one in season two that I was like okay that was a good episode that one was, was solid all the way through the, one of those that I will always defend a family guy is the one where Stewie and Brian go back in time and visit the pilot episode of Family Guy. Oh, I thought I, there were a lot of funny little gags in that one. I just watched the pilot episode. Now I, I can't wait to, to work my way all the way up through all 16 seasons or something and then get to that point. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, man. But welcome to Super Mega Cast, guys. Uh, episode 104. Uh, we are here today to tickle your ears and your eardrums with our, our smooth little YouTube voices, to caress your shoulders and your legs with uh, our jokes. So I am Matt Watson. Ryan, what's your name? Ryan. Okay. Well, uh, guys, hope you've been having a great day uh, whenever you're listening to this. Um, we've, we've just been chilling out. Uh, doing some work, getting a lot of work done, you know, uh, progressing with our adult lives, filing taxes, uh, buying houses, you know, adult stuff. Yeah, I bought three houses yesterday. It's I thought that was fun. a bad idea, but, you know. No, you know, the bank said they didn't have the money to do it, so I just, I just, I was just like, you know what, you can't tell me what to do. And so I bought three of them instead of one. I don't think that'll turn out well, but... Dude, it's your life, and if you want to buy three houses, go for okay, it. Okay, next you're going to tell me, like, I, I mean, I bought two cars for each house just in case a guest comes over and needs to drive if I'm out. So, like, I don't think that's going to come back to bite me or anything. But. Where are you getting this money? Huh? Where Where did you get the, the bank? Mo- they just give you money if you ask for it. Be like, hey, can I get can I get some money? Ryan, you got to pay it back, plus interest. Uh, That wasn't a part of the deal. I guarantee it was. I guarantee whatever you signed, you said you had to, they probably explicitly verbally told you as well, you have to pay it back, plus probably a very high interest rate. Well, I had my earbuds in, so. (laughs) (laughs) Imagine going to the bank to get a loan, (laughs) and you're like listening to your iPod or something. You're just like, just like, five million please? I mean, you're you're listening to some really good music. Honestly, the bank deserves to be fucked over at that point if they gave someone dressed like me with earbuds in, like, enough money to buy three houses in Los Angeles. Hey, there's a lot of millionaires and billionaires that would that dress like you. Are there? Yeah. Just, like, just, just Name chill. One. Okay, we just watched the movie The Meg, and, uh, um... Rain Wilson's, Rain character. Wilson's character was a that's, billionaire. That's a, that's a faux rich person. I'm talking about like what's a real what's a real millionaire that you know of that exists in real life where him and I would meet and be like, "Wow, are you rich or are you poor?" And both of us would be confused of either or's financial situation. Steve Jobs wore just black shirt, black pants. It's a turneck though. That's right? true. Turtleneck is a sign of wealth. Fuck. 
Well, he's getting, he was getting a lot of action. He had to hide all those hickeys. He did, yeah. He, he had hickeys all over his neck because his... I his... created the iPhone. Oh, Steven! Steven! <laughs> I want to suck you dry! Oh. He, they um, did. They, unfortunately. They, they sucked him completely. That's actually how Steve Jobs died. He's a prune. <laughs> he they, turned him into a prune. They, they sucked him dry. <laughs> like, they, they sucked him so hard he actually passed away. Very tragic. But, uh... It's a real man that died. It's, it's a real man that died, now isn't he's it? A, now he's a funny joke. It's a funny joke on our podcast. <laughs> yep. How life works out for some people, you know? That was his ultimate legacy, <laughs> is to be a joke on Super Mega Cast, A joke where he died from getting too many blowjobs. And I like that joke. I think that's a very good joke that someone should animate. Just kidding. Animate a better gag than that. That's not worthy of an animation. But... Speaking of that, I did want to bring up, we are approaching 500,000 subscribers. Episodes of the Super Mega Not Podcast. Five, it, <laughs> imagine that, 500,000 episodes. Like, most of it would be silent, and it's just like, so, uh... That would be several generations down the road. We'd have to hand it off to our grandkids <laughs> that for that. Be, like, our great-great-great-grandkids. Our great-great-great-great-great-great-great-grandkids. Okay, Probably that, even more than that, because... They're 52 weeks in a year, right? Mm-hmm. Oops, hold on. So 500,000 divided by 52, that's 9,615 years of Super Mega Cast. So that's, let's say, how, how, how much is it, like, how can I divide this to figure out how many generations of kids? What if we release 10, 10 second podcasts a, a day? A day? Yeah. Then it would be uh, 9,615 days, which... Divided by 365, 26 years. <laughs> yeah, dude. So if we release one every day in 26 years, we'll be at 500,000. 10 every day. Let's get on it. Oh, you 10 podcasts every 10 day? 10 podcasts every day. Oh, okay. Then it would be uh, 2.6 years. Oh, sweet. Dude, we got this in the bag. Oh, we can fucking do in that, In 2.6 years, we can easily get the 500,000 podcasts. Easy, man. Well, guys, that's the new goal of Super Mega. Someone check Matt's math. Something... Does seem a little off about that. <laughs> yeah, something, something seems real off about that. Something smells fishy. It could I might, be my, it could be my groin, but it, it might be. You might need to watch that. But I, I think that uh, my math might have been a little. Please correct me in the comments, please. Uh, I'd like to um, make sure that my math was correct. Um, but anyway, Ryan, let's talk about that movie we saw. The Meg. Let's talk about the Meg. Okay. And not Meg Griffin, because I've had plenty of that in my brain. Really. Well, What's the old Meg Griffin I've been watching, where it's like the voice actor before Mila Kunis. The one that's really whiny and annoying Andy sounding. Dick. Was it Andy Dick? Yeah. I thought it sounded like Andy <laughs> Dick. <laughs> what if it was? I watched the episode last night where Norm MacDonald voices the voice of death. Oh. Pretty good stuff, man. Oh, yeah. Pretty good stuff. Norm MacDonald's, but... he has his own podcast. Normie. No, Normie Talk? He should have called it Normie Talk. That would have been a good name. Jeff Goldblum and Norm MacDonald seem like Norm MacDonald would be the older brother, and Jeff Goldblum is like the younger brother. They seem like they could be brothers with their personality. I could see that, and also their voices maybe a little yeah. similar. Uh, uh, they have that going. <laughs> <That's laughs> they have that going. Yeah. You know, they have that same inflection of that. Uh, uh, you know what show sucked? What? Was uh, Sports Dome, The Onion Sports Dome with Norm MacDonald on Comedy uh, Central? Did did he did he comment on sports? It was like it was like the soup, but with sports, and it was hosted by Norm Macdonald. And I watched a few episodes. Maybe because I'm not into sports, it just wasn't very funny. You don't you don't like sports? Not a big sports guy. My my dad always tried to get me in sports when I was a kid, and I was just not I was not having it. I played soccer, didn't score a single goal all season, never played it again. I always played basketball with my pops, uh, which you I were tall. I bet she's like, man, I got a tall son. I wasn't tall back get then. Some skinny dunks. I didn't get I didn't get tall until like. The year, the summer between like seventh and eighth grade, and I didn't even notice until I got back to school, and everyone and then was like, people Whoa. Were like, "Whoa, dude, you're I, tall!" I didn't even notice. I just shot right up. I I used to be a short little short little fucker, and now I'm. Uh, were you still a like a like a skinny boy when you were short? Oh, I've always been a skinny boy. Mm -hmm. I used to have blonde hair too. Uh, I was just a blonde boy doing what blonde boys did. But I uh I actually um for those of you who want to know, maybe for a a Wikipedia page, I'm six two. So I'm six feet and two inches, which is 188 centimeters for you people that aren't American, that don't know what six feet looks like. Ryan, how tall are you? I'm 5'11". 5'11"? Yeah. That's pretty tall. What's the average? 5'8"? I think men is 5'8". What's the average? I thought it was like 5'7 or 5'9". 5'7", 5'8". Let me see. Hey, Google. Oh, sorry. Okay, Google. There you go. What's the average height of an American man? Oh, let's see. Let's see what it is. Off, the 
average American height for men is 177 centimeters. So five foot ten inches tall. Five foot ten is average for white males. Five ten's pretty tall, I thought. Hey, well you're above average, man. Give me a high five. I'm above average. <sighs> Hold my hand. <clears throat> ah! Stop holding my hand, dude. Let go. Let go. But if you were gonna talk about the average man height in general or height of yeah, what's the general like human male height? Because we're talking about Americans here, and everyone knows that's God's favorite people. So He gave them naturally tall genes because He wanted them to be the best. Well, okay. How about okay? I got an answer. It says, "What is a good height for a man?" On average, women say a romantic partner five three or shorter is generally too short for comfort. Ooh. While a partner six three or taller is too tall. You're almost there, man. Oh, I'm right. I'm right at the, the cutoff. Almost. And the ideal height for a man is five eleven. Oh. The survey also shit. finds that for the average British man, a partner becomes too short at four eleven and too tall at six. Four <laughs> eleven? That's yeah. too short. <laughs> yeah. Not like five one. <laughs> five five three. That's four eleven is. Okay, little person status, I'm almost certain, is 4'10", 4'9". So 4'11 is, like, really close to the, like, scientific level of being classified as little person. Yeah. Wow. Also, little person almost sounds more offensive than, like, the other terms. But doesn't it? Like what? Like, m midget? <gasps> <gasps> Ryan! No, it's a word. I'm no, I know. I'm not... Yeah. But, like, doesn't... Little person almost sounds, like, demeaning. I feel like... Can't call him a dwarf. How about we just call him people? You know, people. Yeah. Yeah. Short people. I mean, why would he like? Let's call him short people. Hey, invite. I mean, no one goes invite the little person. They'll just say <laughs> his name, right? If they're yeah. really friends with the guy, it will be like, it's like, hey, what's uh, what's your friend's name again? Which one? Um, the 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 one who's not that tall. <laughs> Ryan? No, the the one that's really not that tall. Mmm, it's not ringing any bells. The dwarf. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, like a real like warlock comes in, like a little wizard dwarf. A little wizard dwarf. A dwarf. Real life one? Dwarf. Just like the term dwarf also just sounds like something out of like RuneScape or Lord of the Rings. Like a Tolkien. Yeah, exactly. Like a Tolkien or a thing. Martin. Who's Barton? even though there are no George R. R. Martin. I don't. Oh, think I think said Barton. I was like, Barton. I was like, who's Barton? George R. R. Barton, dude. <laughs> right, His imagine, brother. Imagine if your fucking name His was evil Barton. Evil twin that writes romantic novels. Welcome to Superman. I'm Matt Watson. It's my uh, my my other host, Barton McGee. <laughs> Barton. <laughs> it's fucking Barton. <laughs> it's the funniest name, dude. Is there? I wish our next president would be named Barton. President Barton. But it's just one. It's just Barton. It's like Madonna he, or something like. that. He doesn't have a last name. <laughs> yeah. President Barton. President Barton. That's such a fucking funny name. What would President Barton look like? Draw it and tag us. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> You're gonna get a lot of fucking crayon drawings. Well, I like crayon drawings. I think crayon is a very beautiful art style. Crane. Crayon. Crown, as they say in the South. Crown. I love the feeling of drawing with crayons. Oh, it's a great feeling, man. I hate coloring in with crayons because you can never get it colored in perfectly. Smooth. You can't get it smooth. No. But that's, you know what I really like drawing with? Like a nice oil pastel and you're going in circles and it's all smooth and... Yeah. Except I hate when you get like, oil, like when you touch oil pastel on your fingers. You know, I really, I don't know about you, but I, I have like a weird sensitivity to certain things okay. like... Like chalk dust on my hands. Ah, mm. it gives me like goosebumps. I can't yeah, stand I don't, it. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like the feeling of like... Charcoal just or dirt on my hands. You know, I hate dust. it. Or like just dust in between your toes or something. You've had like when you've been in a desert area, you've felt like the dirt and dust in your mouth, like drying out your tongue and shit like that. Yeah, because it gets in there. Like or when you blow your nose. Yeah, and it's like it's just like black. Yeah, not a fan of that. What? Yeah, when you blow your nose and it's just black, thick paste. That happens to me like twice a week. Should I see a doctor? Um. Yeah, I would. I would if I were you just to be safe. Or I could just, that's uh... Never, I mean, I smoke and that's never happened. Well, me. so I don't worry myself, I'll just ignore it. Because then if I ignore it and don't go to the doctor, it's not real. That is true. I good, mean, good advice I for mean, kids. Health is always just uh, ruled by the placebo, right? Exactly, man. Placebo effect. So. If I don't, like, if, if let's say I'm having some, like, symptoms of cancer, I could just be like, hey, you know what, if I go to the doctor, then it's real. But if I ignore it, I don't have cancer. I couldn't imagine going to a doctor, like, looking at, like, what I think is, like, acne or something, be like, hey, doctor, can you check this out, see if anything's wrong? He's like, oh, yeah, that's cancer. <laughs> it's spread through your entire body. Oh. Okay. In fact, you don't even have bones in your body. It's just, it's, it's just cancer buildup. Like, in oh. fact, you're not even a patient. You're a puppet, and, I'm got, and I've gone mad because I lost my job in 2016. So I've been seeing, I've been seeing you, doctor, for, for two years now, and you haven't even been a, a real doctor? Well, you're not even a real person. 
and then and then it zooms out and and then the twilight zone guy steps in front of the camera that's right you just saw a doctor play with a sock puppet a story fit for a maniac <laughs> I loved the Twilight Zone, man. I used to watch the like the old ones all the time. Yeah, little black and white ones. I never uh, watched too much of that. I will tell you though that narration voice reminded me of a narration voice, which is probably the, it it rivals pl uh, Planet Earth's narrator, David the, Attenborough. Yeah, it's the guy who narrates the Forensic Files episodes. Yes, yeah, I, I love, love those him. guys. I love him. Unfortunately, he's passed away. Mm. Uh, did they do a? Did, was he murdered? Did they do a Forensic File episode <laughs> about his murder? No, but it's just some stand-in. It's like the guy that did the voice was murdered. So here I am. What if it was just the guy that did the voice was murdered? <laughs> <laughs> just like like a twelfth grader's like history project where he makes a video. Cassandra was walking home from school one day and then she saw something awry. Like, just, I, I could not watch a Forensic File episode without, and then the gun was gay. I don't know. <laughs> the gun turned out to be gay. That's actually one of the biggest uh, episodes they ever did. <laughs> the gun was gay. He's got a gay gun. Get down. You were saying something. I don't remember what I was saying. We were hopping off this subject as fast as possible, um, I think. Fuck, what was I saying, I mean, dude? Yeah. God damn, dude. What was I saying? God damn, these half-Japanese girls do it to me every time. It's a Weezer lyric. That wasn't me just saying, damn you half-Japanese girls. Do it to me every time. Oh, the redhead said you tread the cello. And I'm jello, baby. It's a Weezer, man. Yeah. It's classic Weezer. Yeah. Off Pinkerton, El Scorcho. Uh-huh. Favorite Weezer album, Ryan. Go! Oh, man. Well, the thing is, it's like whenever I have to come up with a favorite album, there's always songs on the album that are like, oh, those aren't my favorite. Then there are songs on other albums that I like more on like my quote-unquote favorite album that are just like one or two songs yeah, that I thought yeah. worked well on another album. Okay. One that I listen to the most, I've said it before, I, I don't even know the name of it, just because I know it as the fucking, it looks like a children's book cover. Oh, Everything Monster. You'll Bow Right in the End? Yeah, I really like that one. Okay. I really, I really like the songs in it. Speaking of like favorite albums, I was at... Uh, a, po a live podcast the other night, yeah, but still, Brandon Wardell and Jack Wagner's podcast, and um, I'm standing in the back, and my friend Harrison's with me, and he's wearing a shirt for some band, I don't remember, and this other real short dude comes up, and he's also wearing a shirt for that band, and he goes, huh, nice shirt, and, Har and Harrison's like, oh, thanks, man, he's like, favorite album, go, and Harrison's like, what? but he did it in one of those ways where it's like a 4chan's MU board where it's like a bunch of kids it's trying like to like prove, prove that you know this. Yeah, band. exactly. And he was like, he was like, what's the f what, what, what's your uh, what's your favorite album? Do you even know the name? And Harrison was just like, <laughs> uh, and then like the guy with him was like, come on, don't be a child. And then he uh, walked away. It was How really old was this man or man, child? man. He was like in his 20s. It was very uncomfortable to watch. He should have just went, Jeff. And then, and then the guy would have laughed his ass off and be like, "Never mind, you're good in my book." <laughs> <laughs> I man, like that guy, like he just he was he probably saw that shirt and he was like, "Watch this, I'm gonna validate myself." Doom, 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 doom. Favorite album? <laughs> Could you imagine if I did that at a movie? Like I went to a sequel that I was excited for or something. And all of a sudden, like no, 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 just a movie. And then I was like, "Okay, so are you excited for this movie?" Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Okay, so uh, you know the director, right? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, maybe you should sit this one out and go watch some of his movies before you take this one in. Let's go, let's go to movie theater and just be like, Sir, do you know the director? No? I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. <laughs> this is for his true fans only. I love, I love the mentality of, like, only I can be a fan of something. Because the artist creates something so that a ma- So their hope is that a mass majority of- like okay. a big audience, like, like a, a mass, yeah, like the a mass large audience enjoy will enjoy it or like it, or at least it'll connect to more than one person. And I know there's a lot of artists that's like, even if it connects to only one person, it was all worth it because it's my art. But, it's not, <laughs> but like, let's not kid ourselves. They really hope that they make it big. Of um, course. So uh, whether that be because they want to see people like in like their music or they want the money or both. Who knows? Um, I do. It's both. Anyways. Um, <laughs> So I just don't get the mentality of like, pff, I'm a true fan. It's like, what do you, what do you think, what do you think they're gonna do? Like, if you, if you can name one of their al albums off the top of your head with, on a whim, does that mean like, the dude's gonna want to suck your cock and be like, you're my biggest fan. Have sex with my wife and take my kids and I'll cook breakfast for you every morning. It's like they, they believe that the, 
that the band probably like has this would kind favorite of, them like, over yeah have favorite them or have this kind of like um unnecessary form of respect for this person just because they are a fan there comes a point where it's like are you really a fan if you are then just enjoy their shit but if you're just being an asshole then the person who makes the music probably doesn't like you either yeah absolutely or I, any I, form of art. i think that also like well most people do that just because it's like a it's a way to put yourself above someone else because you get you get a little boost like huh, i knew more about this than them <laughs> yeah but what's, <laughs> more, well, what's more important knowing more about like a thing or like what if harrison just like went to one concert and like really liked the band i was like you know what i'm gonna buy a shirt and support this band because i like yeah them. no i have shirts like, for bands that i know jack shit about because i went to like uh like i like I have one shirt from a band I saw as an opener, like a really small band, and I wasn't like a huge fan of their music, and I don't listen to them, but I also, I thought they did like a like a good opener, and also uh, I had, thought they had really cool shirts, so I was like, I don't really listen to them, but I'll support them because they're a small band and I like the shirt. So I, I would hate if someone came up to me and was like, oh yeah, name their albums. It's like, I was I was literally it's supporting like, them. I, I like their music and I supported them monetarily. What have you done? Besides be a dick and turn people off from wanting to be a part of the Yeah, because like, like, I wouldn't want to listen to someone if someone came up like, like that guy made me not want to listen to that band now because I'm like, oh God. So what it, what an asshole. It's just like 4chan's MU board in real life because that's, that's what they, uh, like I, I used to go on uh, MU a lot just to see like what people were saying about music or, or like find new artists, but it's just a bunch of like teenagers shitting on each other, like about how much more they know about music than the other one. Well, that's just... Same with the fashion board. Well, it goes like that with like, uh, I guess, our movies or whatever the equivalent of that would be for film. Any I mean, there's, al there's always that. Even like in YouTube, they're like, it's like, this YouTube channel is fucking awesome and this one sucks. It's like, just watch what you want to watch. Stop being a pretentious asshole. Stop thinking that if you watch something, people will respect you less. Because, like, it's like, in in a social situation, I don't think respect, you don't need to, like, pine for respect in that way. Yeah. Like what you want to like. You can, you can get respect in, like, your, in your, at your workplace, you know, like, in a, in a professional sense. But like what you want to like. Watch what you want to watch. You know, even if, like, we make fun of shit on this podcast, like, don't let that steer you away from liking it. Yeah, like, watch whatever like you want to watch. Listen to whatever you want to listen to. It's whatever. And, like, just because someone dislikes something doesn't mean that they're also a party pooper. I don't know. I feel like there's this, like, constant cyclone of, like, you have to like this. Or if you like this, then then you don't get comedy or or you don't get horror or you don't get any for, or, or any genre or you don't get music. It's, like, just like what you want to like and the world will keep on spinning and that's the way it is. Just Just do you. That's a that's that's great. That's a really good like. You know what else is great? What? Honey. Haha, <laughs> got your Give script. Give me my copy I of the script. I got your script. Give it. Jump for it. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Chances are you've heard of Honey, the free browser add-on that finds and applies the best promo codes every time you shop. It may sound too good to be true, so let's go over the facts. First, you're probably wondering, how much money can Honey really save me? Well, turns out, Honey has already saved people over $800 million. One person. It was just one. They only had one <laughs> customer and it saved him $800 million. You may also be thinking, Honey doesn't work on sites I shop at. Truth is, Honey works on over 30,000 sites, even Amazon. Even Amazon? Yeah, I actually use Honey on Amazon. No <sighs> joke. So I, I guess then the big question is, how is Honey free? What's the catch? Well, there is no catch. Honey gets a small commission from sites where Honey saves you money, for it's always free. In fact, 10 million members trust Honey to save them money every day. Now, while I was saying earlier, I use Honey on Amazon. Uh, there was actually a pair of uh, pair of sneaks I was wanting to buy. I saved myself $18 using Honey. Do they make that fun little sound whenever you walk on a basketball court? They went, eh, eh, oh. and when I went out and played basketball, and it was just a, it was silent and just an echo. My favorite like basketball sound effects. I love them. Just you wouldn't have bought those if they were the price before honey, right? No, I wouldn't. But yeah. I saved eighteen dollars, and I used that eighteen dollars to buy myself a big bag of lentils. That's awesome. And I'm sure people could also save money on like, I don't know, pet supplies, travel, furniture, other stuff like that as well. It works on practically anything, so there's no reason not to use honey. It's always free and takes just two clicks to install. Count them, Ryan. One. Two. Okay, there was the second click. That's a little, it. Yeah, it took a little bit, but... You could probably even install Honey faster than that. Yeah, just add it to your browser for free right now 
at joinhoney.com slash megacast. That's joinhoney.com slash megacast. Together, Ryan, joinhoney.com slash megacast. Now, if you put in that code, that definitely benefits us and benefits the podcast, that benefits the channel. And you you get to save money. If you're going to get Honey no matter what, make sure you use uh, joinhoney.com slash megacast. As I said, it helps us out. So it helps the show out, and therefore, in turn, it'll, you know, help you out, because that's that's more content that's funded for you. Just like honey. Doom, 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 just like honey. It's a Jesus and Mary chain. Classic song. It's at the end of uh, Lost in Translation, one of my favorite movies. Ryan's ripping up the ad read script. I don't think they'd uh, appreciate you doing that, huh? But uh, it's no issue, because we saved $100 on paper, so we can just print more using honey. Yeah, and I'm ripping it up so it's easier to recycle. Yeah, absolutely. So, I like the way you think, Ryan. Thank you. I love the way you think. Thank you. You know, I made a big mistake the other day, actually, speaking of that. I was like... You didn't recycle, did you? That was my mistake. So, I was like... <laughs> that, that I'm was serious. a big mistake yesterday. I got two people living with me right now, and I had a big old... I was gonna like, I'm gonna take out the trash. Um, and the trash can was sitting out from the closet it's usually in. So, I mm-hmm. took the big bag, and I went and I threw it down the trash chute. And then... I got back to put a trash bag back in, and then I realized I had thrown out the recycling instead of the trash, and I had put the recycling down the trash chute. <sighs> I'm sorry, dude. Now someone, now someone's t-shirt's gonna be made out of a banana pe- wait. No, it won't even be recycled at all. What? You're trying to tell me that you fucked some, someone over? Yeah, Jill Stein's already called me three times today. <laughs> Jill Stein. God bless her soul. God bless Jill Stein. <laughs> Jillothy Stein. That's her full name, actually. Jillothy Steinem. Really? She shortened it for the uh, 2016 election, so it would sound snappier, but... <laughs> that was dumb. I was about to... Were you about to make a joke? Not even a joke. I was just about to say Steinemann Square for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> you know, B- Jill Stein was actually the, the person who stood in front of the tanks in Tiananmen Square. <laughs> what if you looked at a photo and it's like one of those... What is it called? The, uh... The Morgan effect? What's it called? The effect where it's like... Some Mandela effect. Mandela effect. <laughs> the Morgan effect. Well, Morgan Freeman played Nelson Mandela in a movie, so I, I see where you brain... can make that connection, yeah. The well, Morgan Freeman effect. It's like Freeman the Mandela effect. effect. It's like we all saw what we thought was an Asian person standing in front of the tanks, but what you failed to realize is that it was actually political candidate Jill Stein. Green Party figurehead <laughs> Jill Stein. That'd blow my fucking ass. Like, what if, what if I looked and it was just Matt and Ryan from Super Mega? At Tiananmen Square? <laughs> real talk, though, Tiananmen Square is, like, one of the, like, so fucked up. If you read about it, it's real China's fucked China's like, up. what? What are it, you talking what are you, about? I don't hear anything about Tiananmen <laughs> I Square. Know. Can you hear something? Is that the wind? They're never going to invite us to do Super Mega Live in, in <laughs> Tiananmen Square now because of this. I'd love to do a live show there. In Tiananmen like, Square? <laughs> and just be like, man, remember what happened here? And you'd be like, yeah, a whole lot of nothing. And then they just shoot us. <laughs> But before we even get to say whole, like, they shoot me, I'm like, I was gonna say whole lot of nothing! <laughs> and then they go, then their government would put out a statement. Yeah, we don't know what happened. Um, nothing, actually nothing happened. They were never even here. <laughs> yeah, exactly! <laughs> <laughs> I love, like, a written statement that, that, that jumbled and confused. <laughs> who's, who, who's super mega? <laughs> uh, we haven't heard of them. And then they get... Well, I, I, people can't even watch Super Mega Dan in China. Dan and Phil to replace us. Dan and Phil to replace us. <laughs> to play is that the clo- Tiananmen Square? Is that the closest like that's the people P- in the line of succession that's the, after like, the us? The PC duo, isn't it? Like they're more not PC. They're more uh, child friendly. Yeah, yeah. They're more like family friendly. Dan, yeah. Dan and Philly. Dan, Dan and Philip. I wish it was. Do Dan they and still Phillip. do stuff? Yeah, I'm sure they. What's their live show called? Dan and Phil. This tour is not up. on fire. Oh. Dan and Phil fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> Goes on stage. Hey guys, welcome to. Da- to- <sighs> Fuck. Oh, he show. fucked it up. He fucked it up. Do you remember that time we got on Netflix and we watched their live show one night? We were just really we didn't bored. We watched the whole thing. We dude. watched, we part watched of a it. big part. We of watched it. too much of it. Yeah, we did. And nothing against Dan and Phil. It's just not. We're not the audience for them. But yeah. we we're like, let's see what their live show is like. And we just sat down. I think we like smoked hookah and watched Dan and Phil. <laughs> what a night, dude. Am I right? We got to get back to those nights. Smoking hookah, watching Dan and I think, Phil. I think you and I smoked hookah so much that it it is out of my system for the rest of my life. Unless I go to like, I go to a hookah bar with people. I would too. But like, I'm not ever going to own a hookah again. Oh my god! So Strangely like, enough, I've owned like three hookahs in my life. They all broke too. Yeah, just, just one because of Daniel. Mm-hmm. One because of Lego. I think Lego smacked one over. 
One no, he smacked something else over. He smacked something else over that shattered, but we can't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it was actually a, a porcelain figurine of uh, someone just woke up angry, just like they're falling asleep. Like, God damn it! It was These a porcelain. These guys are annoying. I'm not listening to their podcast anymore. Porcelain figurine of George Lopez. I'm gonna listen to Ben Shapiro's serene voice instead. <laughs> That's the thing, man. Everyone, everyone's, everyone's leaving Super Megacast to listen to Ben Shapiro these days, and it's pissing me off. Damn it, Ben. Stop stealing our fans. I want, I want Ben Shapiro to do an ASMR channel. Hey, guys. So let me tell you why trans people aren't real. Is Ben Shapiro the older brother of Review Bra? <laughs> he's like the older, like, exiled he's like the member of the family. Form. Like, you, see a, you think of Pokemon. It's I think like, he's the it's devolved like form. Review Review. <laughs> Review bra is excellent. I love it. <laughs> yeah, review bra is the final form. Yeah, it started like the middle form is Ben Shapiro. What would be the first stage? Of I think it? Ben Shapiro is the first. You form. think? Okay, Ben Shapiro is the first form. The middle form is a uh, fucking what's someone in between, man? Who's a <laughs> who's a what's his name? Jeff Sessions is the middle form. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Sessions looks like review bra all grown up. <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, there's progress, so it goes. I mean, if we were going to make it accurate based on looks and not on ta- on abilities, which is, abilities is number one, but on looks, it, an aging process would be Review Bra, Ben Shapiro, and then, um, what's his name? What I just said his name. Jeff, Jeff Sessions. Uh, Jeff Jefferson po- Beauregard, Beauregard Sessions, Sessions the third. Imagine if, uh, they all three look like they should just, I want to. They're, they're in a family. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if Review Bra started like a far right podcast. So, uh, today we're going to be talking about black-on-black crime. The inner cities struggle with, well, they do struggle with violence. And uh, I think we can pin all of that on the Obama administration and Hillary Clinton. Now, let's talk about the Obama administration in full detail. Now, let's talk about the uh, Russian witch hunt today. Uh, It's uh, it's sinister. It's But uh, but before we talk about that, let's thank our sponsor, SuperAwesomeUnderwear.com. And balding products. (laughs) The the perf the perfect ad reads for for an audience of twenty year olds. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, did you hear Alex? Oh, Jones? actually, un- uh, me undies, I love you. No, me undies. That wasn't a great. diss to you. Me I I have like so many pairs of them, and I wear them all the time. I do actually own my own pair of me undies now. You do, and yeah. they're like what what type do you have? They have the they have avocados. What do they have on them? I can't remember the stripes. Stripes, yeah, yeah, like the sailor stripes. You they're really nice. I'm, I think I'm gonna actually like uh, get more. I'm gonna just start a collection. I think I want all of my underwear. Unless, you know, sometimes I gotta have the boxer briefs to let the boys breathe. Not the MeUndies doesn't let the boys no, breathe. No, but I mean, I like... You I need, like, like I, boxers, like no, the loose like ones. No, like, boxers have holes in the middle, so I can just plop the boys out. So do MeUndies have holes? It's just a little tighter. Do they? Yeah. Me, Never me, mind, I'm going straight to MeUndies. MeUndies has the, the little, like, hole you can pull open for some people that, for some reason find it too hard to pull their underwear down, like, three inches to take a pee-pee at yeah. the toilet. They Honestly, like, the whole thing about, like... I just opening the zipper. Down. I know that's opening your zipper is way and pulling your dick out through your zipper. A risk of cutting. I just do this. All right, Ryan just pulled his penis out on the I, podcast. I had to check there just in case like Allie or someone was watching. Or like yesterday when we're recording Super Mega, like we're recording Mario and uh, Michelle Visage from RuPaul's Drag Race just walked up to the window and started watching us record Super Mega, yeah. and I was like, uh oh. And then you were like, who's that? And I was like, Michelle Visage. And then you actually Googled Michael Versace, <laughs> and you're like, this isn't. Who is this? <laughs> that, this isn't the person that I saw at the window. Michael <laughs> Versace. I'm pretty sure. Isn't that the guy that created Versace? I don't like the know. brand? Well, if your last name's Versace, you probably. Versace, Versace? That's a Migos song, isn't it? Mm hmm. Ah, I saw Migos live, and uh, they were not very good. Aw. They were pretty. It was like. There's some people you can only listen to, like, on speakers or in the car, or like, yeah. where it's highly produced. Yeah, music. Migos was not. The, I mean, maybe it was just a bad day for him. They weren't very good live, though. I gotta say, it was a lot of echo. We just hey, 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 stop, stop. like that. That was Migos live. That's all they had. A music festival. They were at a music festival. And most of the people probably don't care about the quality of the. They're music. probably all high and just like oh, high drunk. This really on speaks ecstasy. to me. I would hope no one at a music festival is on meth because usually a music festival, I don't, I don't really think of like methamphetamine or heroin. I'm sure it happens though. Or crack. Woodstock. Yes. I actually would have loved to go to Woodstock. I feel like that would have been an experience. You know? You would have been, been hosed down by the man. I, the man would have come in. 
And by the man, we mean there was actually this bald guy that just went by the man, and he carried around a fire hose. He get, they kept kicking him out. He kept sneaking back in with different disguises. <laughs> Fuck the man. Dude. One time he wore a mustache. One time he even wore two mustaches. I don't know how the security fell for that one. But <laughs> I actually, I was at a music festival once, and I was waiting to get in line on a uh, carnival ride. And uh, this dude, I think he was like really on acid or something. He he was like running around, like freaking out, and he ran up to the front of the line, uh, to, like, the gate to get on the... It was one of those things where it's, like, a central thing, like, a pillar, and then, like, four arms, and it spins everyone around. Yeah. Uh, and, and he ran up to, like, the edge of the gate and was, like, looking at everything, like, whoa, whoa. Is he about to jump in and get decapitated? He tried to, and what? the security guards just were just watching him. And I'm like, dude, he's gonna get decapitated, and I'm gonna watch it. This, is, this happened at Six Flags a long time ago with the yeah, roller someone coaster. kicked his head off. That was in Dallas, I think. I yeah. feel so bad for that person. That's gotta be it. so fucked up. I know. He well, climbed I mean, they, three fences to get to his hat, but... I, that, that, I was about to say his hat, and I'm glad you said it, because that now that, like, makes it a true story. I'm yeah. Like, There's no way you and I would both think it was a hat. Well... I remember Daniel Tosh's. Uh, Did you just look at my crotch. No, you pulled your gym shorts like an inch from your penis. I had I, to. I glanced to see what was going on. Okay. No homo, bro. High five. Well, let me give you the other hand. Yeah, th- thank you. <laughs> I wouldn't have even caught that until after the fact. No, it's fine. Were you scratching something? See, so got you. Yeah, you got me with it that time. But I went for it, man, because we're bros. So I'm like, hey, man. Sometimes bros. I didn't actually touch my. I saw you just scratched the area near your yeah. your your upper thigh, upper inner thigh. Yeah, I guess right here. Yeah, but no, that's not a dirty area, right? No. Actually, apparently, uh, your 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 Johnson is one of the cleanest parts of your body because it just stays uh, tucked away in fabric all day. It's not exposed to germs. It's not exposed. That's to... That's why they say you shouldn't like clean it with like scented soaps and shit like that. Is that true? Wash it off with water. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, anything with genitals, it's like you know, treat it treat it like a king. Treat it like treat treat it like a king. You, you want to that's why overthrow I put it, it if you don't like it. Yeah, overthrow it and replace it with a bigger one. <laughs> Which you can do. There's penis surgery that that can enlarge. So I, I actually watched a documentary. I did too about penis enlargement. How this guy almost did it and then he turned out not to do it. Right? No. Oh no. There's this thing where this guy like was wanting to get a his penis bigger, and so it was this whole documentary about like penis size and why. Why men like big penises and why they want big penises? I don't know why I did that accent. <laughs> I like that accent. You do it more. <laughs> it's good. At the end, you see this graphic surgery of, of this penis being enlarged. And then him watching that goes, no, I can't do that. And then he chooses not to. I spoiled it, but it was, it, it was, it was interesting. So on that topic, apparently all men have like one to three inches of hidden penis inside the body and the way they do that surgery is they basically like pull that out oh and give you like God. more inches of penis so but but then you can't have sex for uh, like six weeks or so and you know you know me ryan i wouldn't be able to survive without sex for six weeks Dude, how could you survive sex w- uh, how could you survive sex how could you survive the woman sex, the woman dude. eats the man's head afterwards <laughs> i know that's crazy what if humans had mating rituals like praying mantises where the woman just or like spiders where the woman like eats the the male after sex. He did. The the male like in early ages probably beat the female over the head with a club. Could just but the, but how would women get Oh, hurt? that felt good. Dun, dun. That happens in the Flintstones. <laughs> after, after, after 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 all the Fred sex has scenes. sex with uh with Karen. Is that her no, Karen no. Flintstone? With Wanda Flintstone? Was it Wanda? Name? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I didn't watch the Flintstones. That was a, I before did, my which time. Is, which makes me feel bad. I even saw the live action movies. The Flintstones go to Vegas and they had the, the creepy Zim Zam Zoom 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 boy. I forgot they did that. Speaking of Flintstones, <gasps> on the way to the Grand Canyon, like 10 miles outside You saw the Flintstones? The, yeah, they were just chilling outside. <laughs> I, I, maybe some of you guys have seen this, but when you're driving from Flagstaff, Arizona to the Grand Canyon up that highway, there is like 10 miles outside the Grand Canyon. It's just like flat planes there's nothing out there Mm -hmm. but we i I randomly passed this rv campsite that's themed after the flintstones they have a massive statue of fred flintstone (laughs) the whole thing is themed after pictures no i should have it's let me see if i can find it real quick it was just out of nowhere and it's ridiculous (laughs) it's just this weird ass fucking like flintstones themed like rv site here flintstones camp site grand canyon which by the way the grand canyon is fucking insane. It's called RV Park and Campground, Flintstone's Bedrock City. Their website is atrocious. Look at this. Look how bad that website is. That's what the super mega website's gonna look like. I can't wait for the super mega website. Um, available amenities. Uh, Barney's Grocery. Wilma's Laundry. Wilma! Wilma, that was Wilma! it. Wilma! Uh, the Bedrock City Campground and RV Park is a great place to stay. They're really selling it to me. 
Uh, we are only 30 miles away from the south rim of the Grand Canyon. Okay, 30 miles, not 10. I'm sorry. So what's... I got a question, Matt. Lay it on me, brother. Lay what's, that question on what's me. What's this week's Game Grumps animated about? Uh, you said I was in it. You are in this week's Game Grumps animated. It and I'm interested. Um, Is it from the Power Hour? No, it's uh, they just they just drew you in it. Like Aaron's eating your pussy out. You're a woman. Nah. Yeah, I'm serious. Aaron's eating my. You're pussy like naked out? in it and spreading your legs. Fuck you. I'm and Aaron, watch this. I'm not joking, dude. Has it come out yet? It's 12:05, so it should be out. Skip to the end. It's at the end. Is that go, the end? go to the very very end. I'm not lying. You'll see. See, he's eating your pussy. What out. the fuck? See? <laughs> why is? Why did someone animate Aaron eating me out? Because it's hot, man. What? But there, look, look at my that's phone. So that's that's the that's the bedrock campground. I got Aaron eating me out in cartoon form in my right hand, and the Flintstones RV park in my left hand. What more could a boy want? <laughs> I know. What more oh, could a boy want? By the way, uh, Jesus Christ! I think I think that's vulgar. <laughs> you deserve some praise here because the uh, Ko Takeuchi, who is the artist for like WarioWare, Rhythm Heaven, drew a picture and an animation of you, like a Rhythm Heaven style animation of you from Power Hour, yeah. and that is fucking awesome. He said he did WarioWare stuff. Too? He's the artist for WarioWare. For the artist. The for, artist, like, like the, for all the WarioWare. Even he, the ones he designed that on all the, the weird. You know all the weird art in WarioWare with the noses and all that weird stuff. Yeah, him, yeah. Like so, like and I was heaven. playing around with his art on the DS when I was a kid. Yeah, and then he drew you. And also that's, he that's fucking incredible. Go check out his Twitter. He's awesome. Go check. I did. Uh, I followed him because I went through his like media and I liked it. It's amazing. I followed him yesterday, and then he went and liked my Family Guy two hundred thousand followers tweet, but didn't follow me. But that was it. Well, he only follows sixteen people. I feel like he oh, follows okay. people that are like close to him in the animation industry. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, like yeah. Well, Why never mind. He 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 uh, he has seventeen followers, or he's following seventeen people now. Ooh, so he followed someone new. That Actually, wasn't Actually, I don't us. know who these people are. He's following. Did you um like this profile picture? What's his name? Butch big. Hartman, oh, the guy that cute. does uh, Fairly Odd Parents. Why is it? He's drawn a bunch of YouTubers. Why isn't he drawing us yet? I don't know. Butch Hartman, our super mega character, super mega, our super mega characters will look great in your style as little Fairly Odd Parents or, or something style. Do it, please, Butch. Please, please. we'll retweet it. Butch, Butch, we'll retweet it and give you a lot of can followers. Can you give us an animated show on your new network? We'll be we'll be the voice cast and everything. Even if it only lasts one episode, we'll voice act it for free. We'll be the for free. That's a real offer, Brent or Butch, not Brent. Butch, Brent Hartman. Butch Hartman, for free, we will voice a, a show, a for cartoon you. for you, a cartoon anything, for you. Man. We'll do it. We'll do it. You just anim- do, make us a super mega animated for we free. Will, if it becomes if it becomes big, we may have to talk about our contract or something. But we will do the, f- the... The free just stands for the pilot episode. The pilot episode we, would, we will do completely free. You don't have to spend any money. We, does, already, got, we already got practice voice acting. Does this count as like a verbal contract? Could he use this in court against us no. if we wanted to pay... Butch, this is not a no, verbal because contract. We could, we, could, we could classify it as satirical humor. Okay. Even, well, though maybe, even though we're being completely serious in that we would voice a Butch Harmon... Butch Harmon? <laughs> Butch Harmon! <laughs> Dan, him too, Butch Harmon. Dan, Dan, Harmon. Dan Harmon should make a Rick and Morty. Let's get the super mega uh, cartoon characters on a Rick and Morty episode. Rick and Rick and Morty, dude. Rick and Maddie. It's Ryan and Maddie. Ryan and Maddie. Ryan and Maddie. There you go. I uh, so I saw a dude uh, in Little Tokyo with like a huh, interesting. Uh, what? It's the second to last Powerade. Ryan, I didn't know these had your name on them. I wanted some electrolytes, so I took a Powerade out of the fridge. Hmm. It's the it's the Grumps Powerade, Ryan. I bought it. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. I don't care. You want it? No, I I've got only it had for like the three office. Sets. Oh, thanks, man. I'm just man. giving you a hard time because I'm a bully. No, you're not a bully. I'm a bully. Aw. But anyway, <laughs> you're not a bully. I'm a bully. Aw. Idiot. <laughs> but um, uh, what I was saying was I was in Little Tokyo and I saw a dude wearing a uh, tank cool top. Cool story, bro. <laughs> Shut up, Ryan. It was a dude wearing a Pickle Rick lifting weights. Oh, my God. Uh, so it was Pickle Rick lifting weights. And uh, lo and behold, he recognized me. So, Okay, I'm sorry. but Like, like what you want to like. But me personally, I'm not going to wear a Pickle Rick shirt. Maybe for fun. <laughs> for fun one day I'll wear a Pickle Rick What if you looked shirt? over and I had tears in my eyes? <laughs> you were and just I lifted up, I lifted up my shirt and I had the Pickle Rick Tank top underneath. Instead of the awesome eight pack you're sporting now. I don't have an eight pack. I One, wish I had two, a fucking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have 
Oh man, I had abs for a while. So I went to the gym for a while. I gained you went 10 pounds. To the gym. I went to the gym. And I lost 15 pounds because I stopped going to the gym. I'm at the lightest I've been in ages. So I need to gain that weight back. I'm looking ghastly. I'm looking ghoulish. Are you? Yeah. You look fine. Well, it might be the mustache isn't good. helping. I, I look like I'm a crack addict right now. Because I'm breaking out in acne on the sides of my face. And then I have a nasty mustache. Are you wanting the mustache to kind of be like. Because, like, the, the thing is, the mustache works. I feel like the mustache. Would look, um, I wish you could grow like five o'clock, like a slight five oh. o'clock around. Because if you have like the mustache and then just like a little stubble, I feel like you could pull that off. I would like, if I could, man. Wear your glasses. Oh my God. Why well, I, I broke my glasses, so I got to get a new pair and okay. I, I, I haven't been bothered see shit. just thinking of it. Okay, well. Well, uh, I'm putting myself, I'm, I'm an actor and I'm putting myself in the fan's shoes and I'm method acting. I personally, as Ryan McGee, am not attracted to you. Thank you. But as a fan and I'm putting myself in their shoes as I'm method acting as a fan, I'm getting hot and bothered. Thanks, man. That actually is a, a big compliment. I No, I, so I've been growing a mustache for about two weeks now. About two years now. I, I, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this is what it looks like after two years. It's, 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 so I think at this point it's there, but it's not there, you know? Is it, do you think it's going to be possible for it to get there? I think if I keep... So if this is from two weeks, mm -hmm. two weeks from now it'll be about... Some people plateau. I gotta, Ooh. I gotta set you up for that. Like my, my facial hair plateaus at a certain point. Like this, this stuff start, stops growing and it only starts growing down. So that's why I have to thin it out. But mm. I've been kind of like a bum recently and not really taking care of my hair. I also like, I'm capable of growing. I, I think I can actually grow a better little, little chin mm -hmm. beard. I say chin beard because it only happens on the chin and a little bit on the side of my face, but it doesn't connect. So I only, I shave that, but I keep this. This can grow better than the mustache, but the problem is it grows like here, and then right in the middle, it's There's just kind of bare. Yeah. yeah. Have you tried putting Rogaine on the middle part? I have, uh, and it burns like shit, and then it mess. It makes me feel weird because Rogaine fucks with like your t testosterone or your 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 chemical balances or something. The other, I stopped using it. I was doing it to see if I can grow my mustache faster, uh, and it made my entire left arm incredibly sensitive. And I was like, nah, I don't want to do this really? anymore. Like. Like, as if I had rubbed it on a, like, pavement, like, dragged behind a car, and when I touched it, it would, like, radiate just, like, painful That's sensitivity. Weird. Yeah. That is odd. Could have been a minor stroke I had that day. That or is true. it could be the Rogaine, so. Smell something burning? I did, actually, all day. Okay, so. And I couldn't even use my left arm so for a couple a stroke, hours. Right? Is that I, a stroke or a seizure? That's a stroke. Okay. Smell something burning, uh, lo uh, half your face droops down. <laughs> Do you ever have a moment where you're like... I smell something burning. What is that? And all of a sudden you're like, oh, wait, I just turned the oven on because I'm making food. Yes, I've done that before. I'm like, uh-oh, oh, oh, wait. I did that the other day. I was like, what is burning? Am I having a stroke? Oh, man, I accidentally like, so I have a toaster oven. And said, no, you're not. You're going to be fine. And, and that's when walked, you realized you were he, having a stroke because the dog was talking. And he walked away and put me on my leash. <laughs> I, uh, so I have a toaster oven and it's the most like, like finicky thing in the world because I'll put like a Pop-Tart in there. It doesn't fucking do it evenly. It's the one we had that we, we had at the apartment. I, 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 maybe I've never had a good toaster oven, but I think toasters are better. To 100%. Because toaster like, ovens get like one side. I don't understand it. I thought it's supposed to like kind of be the better of the two. I guess toaster ovens are good for heating up like leftovers. Maybe we just That's have a shitty one. That's what they're good one. for, but you can just do that in an oven. Yeah, so what, what happens is like I'll put a Pop-Tart in and like... After 10 minutes, it's, like, not even warm. So I turn it up a little bit, and I come back in 30 seconds, and it's black. And I'm like, what the hell? It's like, where's, there's no, it's like, it's like, it takes forever for it to even get warm. But then there's a, like, a five-second period where it'll just burn the shit out of your food that you have to get to. It's like this weird timing thing. It's like a rhythm game, and you gotta get it just right. You have to sit there and watch it. You can't trust your appliance. Well, you know what they say, a watched toaster oven never boils. Yes. A watched pot never boils, Mr. McGee. Do you ever notice that, like, you, when you turn on the faucet to get hot water, and you know how it takes a while to get hot sometimes? It seems like it only starts to get hot if you put your hand under it. Well, that's because, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Because that's you realizing it's hot. I of sound course real you're, stupid. Of course, you're, of course, do you ever realize that when you turn on the hot water, it never gets hot until you make sure that you, <laughs> like, scientifically prove it's hot <laughs> by testing it. All right, well, I sound real dumb. <laughs> like, what I, about... I'm just trying to follow you. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to maybe word it differently. Do you ever put, like, turn on the bathtub, and it's, like, burning hot, and you put your hand or something in it, and it's so hot you think it's cold for a second? Yes. That, that I think that happens with burning in general because, um, 
Uh, one time, my dad used to have a motorcycle way back in the day. Mm. I, mean, I was and I was a little lad, and um, I got off on the side with the muffler, and so my leg just went tss, like like Ooh. like a meat patty on a grill. Owie. And I remember because I looked down at the skin, and it felt cold, like sharply cold at first, and then it just started to burn. And I remember I looked down at the skin, and it was like oddly like shiny and wet looking. Ah, uh, you must have you must have burned off that top epidermis. Yeah, I wonder if I still have that like a hint of the scar. I mean, that's what sucks about burns. Like one time I leaned back, and my friend's little sister had left their coil stove on, and I leaned back, and I put my whole hand so down on the right, coil stove. Let me see. That. I see it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's still kind of shiny. That's where scars are kind of like shiny. Um, but like my friend's little sister left their coil stove on. Uh, and it had gone from the phase where it's not red hot, but it's still like burning hot. Mm -hmm. And I leaned back on the stove. Probably wasn't a smart idea, but I put my whole hand down oh on the my coil. God. And I instantly pulled it back. But the thing is, it's like there, you have that short, like five second period where you realize you just burn yourself. But because your brain's like, uh oh, what did you just do? But you don't, you don't feel it yet. It's almost like a numb feeling. Yeah. And then it slowly starts to set in, and it's like, ow, that works ow, like being kicked ow. in the balls too. Most pain like I've, you get I've found. kicked in the balls, and it's a shock at first, and, and all the adrenaline starts pumping because you're like, fuck, what the fuck? Either you're mad, you're usually mad, like when Tucker slapped your nuts. That was uncool. Very uh, uncool. I Tucker one time just. Slapped my like nuts back hard as he his could, nuts. Uh, and like they were a exposed. Pimp treating his ladies a lesson, exactly. Just pow, treating was like, his ladies a lesson. He He's was treating them to a lesson. He of was learning physical them good. abuse. Yeah, but like, I I just remember the rest of the night, like it swelled up and like I got boils on my hands and they popped. It was so pain. Burns are like, like God's biggest punishment. The blister and all that shit, it's and not they fun. hurt, especially on your hand, man. Like the yeah. mo like the anything thing on your feel. hand. The thing that sucks is like getting cuts on your palm. Oh, because then it yeah. hurts to kind of close Paper your cuts. palm. And open. Look at this. See this little cut right here? Yeah, that's from Banana the other night. I was just petting him. He's like, I'm laying on the couch watching Family Guys. I often do, and he's behind me up on like the top of the cushion, and I'm just kind of like rubbing the cat, and he just bites me. Just at no warning. Just, I just like what the fuck. I yeah. I was like what the fuck, and I was bleeding immediately because his his tooth like you see, I, the lighting's not. So very what good is he look. doing when he does that? Is that like do cats do that to each other? Do they just randomly bite each other? They do. Like, yeah. Is it like a you're my friend? Or it's like, like let's a play? no. It's like uh, he'll be like ah oh, yeah that's good. Pet me once. Yep. Pet me twice. Just right. Nope. Really. Like, three times is too much. Like shit like that. Like pet, cats will go from like. They'll be loving that you're petting Why them, is that? and then one time is just too like one time over the limit with no warning, and then they'll just attack. So, do you think so? It's just for them. It's like if they're uncomfortable in a situation, it's like no, I've had enough. That's it. They yeah. they make the decision. It's not like let me see if I'll like this. It's just like nope, none none of that. Yep. Wow. He'll scratch me. He'll bite me. I'm gonna get him detoothed. Get him beheaded. That's probably a good idea. Sorry, deheaded. D. De I got him declawed, deheaded. Not gonna <laughs> bite me anymore. Got him detailed, depod. He won't smack. He uses that tail as like a big bullwhip and just. Whoosh. Man, what if instead of like I got claws, him skinned? I got my cat de-skinned. Now he's not. Wait, that means he would have skin though, right? Because being skinned is where your skin's removed. So if you got de-skinned, wouldn't you get more is, skin put is on? D, does D mean not or something? It does, but but English is weird. That's true. So wouldn't so you it think would form a double negative? Is that what you're trying to say? I think it would. Okay. That's one of those rare cases. Like, well, why is it beheaded, not deheaded? Wouldn't it, like, I got B-skinned last night. What, what is the B, B, what does that stem mean? I don't know why. What other see. words have B, like, that mean that beheaded? That sounds like a very old English word. Beheaded. Uh, B, I'm looking, man, is it, am I thinking, am I coming up with that? Those, those are, are those, no. Stems. Are those stems, or they're stem words that we had to learn, and then I'm thinking of other things? They're prefixes. Okay. Technically, there's prefixes and suffixes. And my suffixes. I use my learn my prefixes and my suffixes and my sixes. W T H is a S T E M. Let's just go over. Let's go over some stem words because I'm sure that there's some high schoolers that have a stem stem test tomorrow. So let's review some stem words for you guys, okay? Let's go a big list of uh. Here we go. Word roots. The world's the web's largest root words and prefix glossary. Here we go. An slash a, um, it means not or without. Uh, ab is from, away, uh, abduct, abnormal, aversion, 
Uh, let's see. Acro. That means top, height, tip, beginning. Acrobat. A high walker. Um, acrophobia. That's the fear of heights, guys. You learned a little something today. If you got the fear of heights, that's acrophobia. Not the fear of acrobats. <laughs> Ryan just looked over at me, and then we just had like a silent <laughs> stare moment. So picture that. Picture it. And now you get it. That's a good animated moment where nothing happens. Yeah. We just and that's only one frame. Okay, just animate stare. this next ten seconds, people. No. Are, are they? Is someone hasn't animating this? Seconds. Or maybe it has. Okay. All right, it's done. Super mega anime. I'd love to start Those are uploading. Be the best, most high quality anime is just silence, and that's going. Wait, is this animated? That would actually be a great animation. <laughs> also, speaking of animation, we got a little surprise coming to the channel for 500,000 subscribers. Okay, it's finished, by the way. It is. I can show you. Wait, what? Yeah. The, the... Yep. It's what? done. It's done. You guys will see it at 500. I want to see it. We're getting real close Did to 500,000. Did he send it to the, e the email? Mm -hmm. You're watching the email. <clears throat> a little animator you guys oh might know. Oh, my God. I have to see this. Is it like, have you seen the whole thing? Oh, no, it's great. It's, it's fantastic. Oh, my God. I need to see this. It looks so good. Can we end the podcast early so I can go run and watch this? Sure. Let's do like five more minutes. And in that five minutes, I do want to genuinely thank you guys as we approach 500,000. Holy shit. We never expected to be this big. We really didn't. Like, 500,000 subs is... That's like a dream come true. You guys have been so supportive, so wonderful. Also, another announcement. <coughs> uh, um, uh, Stop. Sorry, it's all the baked beans I had for breakfast. Fine, we it. got a... Uh, merch will be coming back soon. I'm almost certain. Uh, we're working on a, a way to get merch out to you guys. So, uh, expect uh, some merch possibly soon. Don't hold me to that, because uh, we're trying to figure it out. So, it's not 100% guaranteed, but... The goal is to have a website set up soon, like uh, our own website, not through like a third party where we will be selling merch, uh, super mega merch, uh, new stuff, lots of new stuff. We're collaborating with some really cool artists, uh, ones that uh, you might not know, uh, actually collaborating with a clothing line um, to get some stuff made. Uh, very excited for that. Um, and uh, and yeah, yeah, please check out our podcast on iTunes. Uh, sometimes we upload a little late. Uh, but it's always ends up on there eventually. Uh, and please rate us five stars if you would be so kind to do that or, uh, subscribe to us at least. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching the podcast on YouTube. If you watch on YouTube, because that helps us out financially, uh, iTunes, we get jack shit from iTunes. So if you're listening on iTunes, you're not a real fan. You're a fake fan. Uh, we hate you because you're not giving us money. And all we care about at the end of the day is money. We don't care about any of you. We just care about that sweet green. Ryan? Um, thank you, everybody, for watching this episode. And, um, uh, that was a joke. I, we actually do care about the fans very much. What's a joke? Well, I said uh, we only care about money. Oh, that's not true. No, no. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now, uh, Ryan would like to end the podcast <clears throat> with his impression of Cleveland Brown. Oh no, I'm black. I'm black. I'm black Peter Griffin. Loretta's mother died. My name is Cleveland Brown, and I am proud to be right back in my hometown with my new family. Hee-haw! There's old friends and new friends and even a bear. Through good times and bad times, it's true love we share. I know that theme song for some reason. I don't know why I wow. know it, but I do. That blew me away. Actually, Matt, if you ever go to an audition for anything, just sing that and you'll be accepted. Think so? Anything. Thanks, man. You're welcome. You're really good at boosting my confidence. Give me a fist bump. I'll give you a, a fist bump and then a fist shake. Give me a fist shake, buddy. And a fist kiss. Give me a bro fist. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll be back next week with 105. Also, gaming content is on the way. I know you guys have been missing it, but we recorded a lot of it, so it's on the way. Yep, Kisses. I'm really, I'm really crossing my fingers I don't die in a car accident before recording the next podcast. <laughs> don't. Please don't. Well, I hope I don't. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. If you I mean, I, mean do, I can be a little more proactive on the road, yes. but It's going to be weird to listen back if you do die in a car accident. Exactly. Okay, well, uh, guys, uh, please wish Ryan in the comments. Uh, send well, I hope him you a don't prayer. die in a car accident as well. Don't, don't do that to me. Don't. <laughs> it's just like, okay, you're okay. You're 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 you're, 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 you're voodoo to me. You're, you're testing your luck right now, man. You're towing the line. Dude, I don't like this. What is this unfinished Powerade doing? We're a bunch of wasters. And with that sip of Powerade, I just took. We end the podcast. We took one sip and then closed it. And left Who the here. fuck?
It wasn't me. Oh my lord. Probably was me, so I'll drink it. <laughs> was it you? It might have been. One sip, Matt? I didn't mean to. <laughs> I didn't mean. Okay, bye guys. Bye.